Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. So I've got an interesting, I was driving, had to pull off on the side of the road and give you guys my thoughts. I wanna give you pretty much a motivational word. And it's about, you don't need a lot of money to become wealthy. And I wanna share a little bit about my story, just brief, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak into you guys, into your life, into Ninja Nation. See, we're faced with obviously, you know, unbelievably unprecedented times. For anybody to think that the economy cannot collapse under the burden of uh, businesses being forced to shut down, under uh, a surge of inflation, uh, an explosion in real estate prices, totally that is not inflation. That's not normal inflation, right? Uh, because of the demand of for real estate by investors um, is to say that we can't collapse is is absolutely ludicrous. In 2006, I was blown away, in two, especially 2007, after we'd all been handed stimulus checks, that people said, no, the economy's fine, it's growing back, it's coming back stronger. People literally believe anything they're told. Only a very few select people in this world question a narrative. And that's what Ninja Nation is all about. That is what you guys are all about. That's the only reason you're here. Honestly, there's, there's nothing here. This is just a dude with a brohawk and a dream. But I wanna talk about not needing a lot to become wealthy. I've told the story about how I, I became uh, not wealthy. I made my, my first million, um, became a millionaire when I was around 24 years old, 25 years old, and I did it through real estate. And, and when I started investing in real estate was in 2001, and I was being told left and right by people, said I was nuts, real estate has topped, it's been like in a, a bull trend for seven years, but I saw something that all of them did not. And I saw the Ameri or the human greed factor because interest rates were falling because the Federal Reserve was lowering rates um, due to the, uh, the dot-com crash. And so I saw greed. I knew that people would buy up real estate, buy up assets because they wanna show off for people they don't even care about, people they don't even respect, right? So, but in 2006, 2007, even though I knew that crash was coming, we closed everything, there were still hardships. I went through a lot of hardships. And um, I lost a significant portion of that. As a matter of fact, I've lost everything I have three times because I'm a complete idiot. And I did it all through the help of the stock market. And after the third time, you'd think I'd learned by then, I said never again, but it took three times. Three bashing over the heads. So I had to start over three times. And I tell you guys that to encourage you. I could care less what people think about me. I care more about what I think about myself when I wake up and look in the mirror and I care what my family thinks of me. That's really what I care about. And then everything else is, is gravy on top, right? When I was going through those hard times, it, uh, it, it built who I am. And I learned to embrace the hard times because I heard a, a word a long time ago that a good leader does the right thing when everyone is looking, but they also do the same exact thing, the right thing when no one is looking. And that has always stuck with me alongside of what Kiyosaki, Robert Kiyosaki said, that a truly successful uh, person will share with you their failures before they ever share with you your, their success because they care more about watching other people not have to go through the pain and regret that they went through. Those two things have always molded who I am as an investor. In the last 12 years of my life, I have scrimped and saved to get where I am. All of my family and friends could tell you that. If they're here to speak, they would tell you that. I have lived a, a pretty humble life. And I wanna share those things with you because I want you to know you're not alone. I don't care where you work. I don't care how much money you have in the bank. The facts are you have one penny. You have one penny. I had a friend of mine tell me last week that he had nothing, he had nothing. And I said, you have a dollar. I know you have a dollar. He's I have nothing coming in. I'm all, I know that there's a dollar coming in, which means you can give 10 cents. And watch what happens to your mind and your life when you give that 10 cents. Now, my friend completely agreed with me, but it's all about our perception in life. It's all about our perception of where we are and what we have at our fingertips. And the facts are, all of you have, have amazing resources at the fingertips, but sometimes you can't unlock your brain to see it. So I'm gonna share with you right now, if you've made it this far, please hashtag Ninja Nation in this, because this is the true, this is the epitome of what an Ninja Nation is. Start speaking good over yourself. Start saying out loud, 
You don't have to say in front of people at first, but then eventually I want you to start saying in front of people. And I don't care what they look at you like. I don't care if they think you're nuts. You say, I'm wealthy. I'm strong. I have resources. They're co- and, and if I can't see them, they're going to start to manifest. I want you to start speaking that over your life. I want you to start speaking positively over your life. Because honestly, during this next crash, which is going to be gnarly, it is, I'm not going to, you know, I'm, this isn't financial advice. This is life advice. These are normal cycles, but this is a big cycle that we're hitting right now. If you have anything, anything, it will be worth more than the people down the street from you because they're going to lose everything, which means you have resources to use. And I want to share that with you. I I really want you guys, and do me a favor, share these videos. This is the kind of video that needs to be on Facebook, honestly, because there's a lot of people that are just so closed-minded. They're they're sharing pictures of their dinner. (laughs) Uh, But they need to be woken up, you know? And there's nothing more exciting. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, there's been a lot of people that have thanked me for what's happened last year with this channel. I can't help but thank you guys. You have opened up a part of my mind that I never... I never would have thought possible. And I, I first give thanks to God for that. And I'm not here to preach to you guys, but in, in life we give uh, honor and we give, in, um, you know, what's it called? Uh, gratitude and where it's deserved. So you guys are awesome. Ninja Nation is worldwide. Ninja Nation is gonna take back the land. Ninja Nation is going to help other people. Ninja Nation will be the greatest movement in modern history, when it comes to finance, to security, and to benevolence. I thank you guys so much for watching this. The Economic Ninja is out.